Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel, The Frugal Nurse's Life. I'm The Frugal Nurse. How are you doing? You know here on this channel, if you've been here before, please like, share, subscribe, hit the little bell. That way you'll be notified of all my uploads. This particular story is coming by way of NYC. Shout out to all my family in the Big Apple, as they call it. But guys, I've been seeing this story in other states and it looks like this thing is spreading around. And I have a feeling, y'all, that they're going to use this as it relates to, like, this new digital currency something. They're going to be like, it's going to be safer because you you know. But what's happening now is something called skimming. Now, I remember what had happened was some years back when we first started really using these debit cards. I would say about 20 years ago because 20 years ago, I was still using my checkbook. And that's when they started getting us introduced to the debit card. We had credit cards. But the debit card and the ATM card was something different. And I remember I had gone to my bank, gone to the ATM, I think at Publix. And then when I got home, there was no money in my account. And when I called the bank, I had one of these internet banks. Don't ask me what kind of bank I had. I think it was one of these internet banks. And they told me that somebody had used my card in California, Arizona, one of this, I think it was even another country. And I was like, well, I've never been out of the country, so how were they using my card? And they said it was something called skimming. So from then on, I really tried not to, and I, I think it happened one more time, I used the gas station and the gas station outside. And a lot of times they'll put these machines on the um, gas pump and when you put your card in, it reads your card, your PIN number, and everything. So when I get gas, I go inside the store. I never pay at the pump. Um, because after that happened one more time, I was like, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm going inside to pay. When I get something from the ATM, I typically don't. I'll go inside to the store, I mean the bank, and get money if I need it. So now, fast forward to 2022. Now, back in the day, we used to get something called food stamps. And it used to be booklets. And if you know, you know, back in the way, around the way. And we used to get these booklets and the money, I think it was brown, was the dollar bills. Look, I'm trying to remember. They came in like little booklets. They was coupons. They looked like little food stamps. White and light blue was, it came in like a little booklet. And you had to rip them out on a perforated line. And um, I think they were purple. And it was one that was green and I think brown. I think. I can't remember. Like it was ones, fives, and tens, or twenty, Something like that. But now they have an EBT card. And guess what's happening with the EBT cards? People are going to get their benefits and the money is gone. This ain't just happening in New York. I've been following this story. I said, uh-huh. So let's go to the story right now. And you know how we do. We go to the tape and I come back and give my commentary. But here it says, thousands of New York families victims of the scam that steals your SNAP benefits. Ooh, you know, some people, why they so smart and they got all of this intelligence. Why don't they just go get a job? They, I mean, they can do all of this and steal and tease people and do all of this stuff. Why don't they just go get a job? But anyway, let's, um, let me try to move this out the way. And we're going to go to this tape. And um, we're going to come back with the commentary. Here we go. It's hard to not to look your grandchildren in the face and be like, there's no money to feed you. 50-year-old Lakeisha Martinez from the Rockaway says she went to buy snacks for her grandchildren at the grocery store with her EBT card, the prepaid debit cards for her SNAP benefits. She was shocked when she went to the register to pay, and the balance was zero. When I swiped the card to feed them, all of it was gone. So when we look back to see where it was at, it was in California. Mm, so Lakeisha, shout out to Lakeisha Martinez. She was a victim of skimming. She went to try to go get her kids some snacks from the store, and they was like nothing. Okay, so I know she was like, "What? We don't live in California. I've never been to California." The amount stolen from Martinez's SNAP card in July was nine hundred dollars. Oh my God! She uses that money to help support herself and her four grandchildren. There's 
thousands of families who are experiencing this currently, thousands. and we're not giving that. The so that's Khalil. Did you just say thousand? Oh, he's an assembly member. New York State okay, assembly Khalil. Member Khalil Anderson of Far Rockaway says his office is getting dozens of calls just like Martinez's. He says his constituents are becoming victims of what's called skimming. See, okay, wait. Let me go back, y'all. Do y'all see? So see, see right there. Those is what the food stamps used to look like back in the day. I don't know where they got those pictures from, but these is what the food, they were called food coupons. And it was a 10, I guess that's the 10, that was the brown or the purple. I don't know, but that's what they used to look like. But now they have the EBT cards where your money is loaded on a card like a debit card. So I just caught that in this, in this film. So that's what they, and we used to give it to people to the, you know, the corner store, the bodega. Um, what was some of the bodegas I used to go to? Rancho there in Brooklyn and Cypress Hills. Arancho, and then we used to go to Colon, and we used to go to Fat Man. Those were the those were the bodegas. Okay, here we go. Old skimming. Each month, their benefits are loading onto that card. Now, what we're seeing is is that a number of different transactions, like what Ms. Martinez has experienced, that they don't recognize. An OTDA spokesperson tells Pix11 News, "Quote: OTDA takes seriously any report of benefit theft and continues to work closely with local, state, and federal authorities to provide any information they require that will help bring perpetrators to justice." And they offer this advice: "Quote: EBT card users should remain vigilant for this type of theft by reviewing their account for suspicious activity." regularly changing their pin and by closely inspecting all retailer terminals for signs of tampering before swiping their car okay so this is from the office of De <coughs> temporary and disability assistance and if you have an EBD car EBT car whether you're in New York Florida California these are some steps that you can take because you got some people that are sitting at home just waiting once they load that up there Somehow or another, they have gotten your number, and now they're using your stuff, right? So it says, EBD card users should remain vigilant for this type of theft by reviewing their account for suspicious activity. So you should be looking at your account every month, and if you see something suspicious, what they will try to do is send a little, a small charge through. So um, what they will do is, and see if they got the right PIN number. So say, for instance, you get your money on the first of the month. You might be going, you might have $900, but they might be a charge there for $3. You missed it. You ain't even check your account, but you missed it. They know, okay, this is the right PIN number. So when the money come through the next time, I'm taking it all. Okay, so you got to check for any suspicious charges that you didn't make. Change your PIN number. You might have to start changing your PIN number every month. Okay, and write it down and just keep changing it. And inspect all terminals. And when they say terminals, when you go to the grocery store. When you go to the bodega, when you go to the um, corner store, or you go to the, even a the gas station, you pay it inside. Sometimes these people will slip those skimming machines over at the, you know, sometimes they bold enough or they might be working with somebody inside the store and they'll put those skimming machines on the, you know, on the, eight, on the swiper in the store. And what it does is it reads your PIN number, you know, and it reads your account number. So that's what you have to do to try to make sure that you don't get got and then you go in to buy food, nine hundred dollars to nothing and she's taking care of four babies. Wow. In the meantime, these benefits are a lifeline for low income New Yorkers like Martinez. So far, she says no money has been reimbursed and the oh loss is devastating for her family. Look at the baby. Experience something similar to what these families have experienced that you should reach out to the authorities immediately and reach out to his office. We'll link you there at Monica Morales TV on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. In the Rockaways, Monica Morales. In the Rockaways. So that's Monica Morales, okay, out there in Far Rockaway, Queens. Shout out to um, people out there in the Far Rockaway. You know, the A train to Far Rockaway. You know how that go over the bridge. So, yeah, y'all, this is what's going on. The skimming is happening. And um, this is going on all throughout the U.S. You're not hearing about it because you're hearing about everything else. And so those are some of the steps that you can take to try to prevent from your uh, benefits from being taken. OK, so let me know if you've heard of this happening, if you've ever gotten, um, you know, not even just with the EBT, but just your regular, you know, debit card. Have you ever had this happen and somebody kind of like hacked your account and, you know, was using your card like in another state and you've never been there? It happened to me twice. 
But I could tell you one of the real things that you can really truly do to prevent this. If you have a car, do not pay for your stuff, at, um, your gas outside at the gas terminal. That is, uh, they are notorious for putting those skimmers there. And also another place where you get got is at restaurants. That's why you should use a credit card. If you go into a restaurant, use a credit card. It's but so much they can do, right? But if you they got access to your bank account, they can just drain your bank account. So this is the Frugal Nurse just bringing you some news so you won't lose. That's Monica Morales out there in, in the NYC. Um, and I hope that woman does get her um, benefits back. But it looked like Khalil was trying to help her. But to this point, $900 is a lot of money, you know, to feed a family. All right, y'all, this is the Frugal Nurse um, giving you news so you won't lose. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next upload. Peace, and I'm out.